free Shopify product research strategy. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a simple strategy that you can use for free in order to find winning products and other products that you can actually test for your store. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because on my last Shopify video where I shared with you all how to actually set up a store really quickly, um, a lot of the comments were from people trying to figure out you know, where to find products and things like that. And with this strategy, this will work for definitely for beginners. Now, this is something that even experienced store owners also use to find their winning products. This will also be a great way for you to find products, especially if you're just starting off and maybe you don't have a, um, a, a huge budget to get started with. And there are tons of different Shopify spy tools out there, but they do cost some money every single month. So again, this, is, this will work perfectly for somebody who are just getting started who is just in kind of the research phase of their Shopify store. They're just trying to get familiar with things. Now, also with this strategy, this is something that uh, quite a few of the other YouTubers are talking about as well. They will tell people, hey, just hop on to Facebook and then anytime you see a Shopify ad, make sure you just um, save that ad or whatever else. But if you're watching this right now, more than likely you don't have any of those type of ads showing up in your newsfeed. You don't have any Shopify ads or product ads showing up. So in this strategy, I'm going to share with you what you need to do in order for those type of ads to start showing up on your newsfeed. And the more you do this strategy, the more ads you will see and you'll see what other store owners are actually actively testing inside of their stores. And you can go ahead and jump in on that and test those things for your store as well. Now, if you're brand new to this channel, my name is Lindsay. And on this channel, I share with you guys tips and strategies on how to earn income from home. Now, those type of topics interest you, make sure you go underneath this video, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you can get updates when I do videos like this onto YouTube. So let's dive into the content. Let me share with you this, this simple strategy and make sure you watch all the way into the end because if you miss any steps, then you're not going to, it's not going to work out the best for you. So make sure you stay all the way into the end so this can work. So again, this is just one strategy that I want to share with you and it's a free strategy. Now, if you want me to create an additional video about other ways that you can actually do Shopify product research, just leave a comment below and I can go ahead and create that content for you. So again, with this strategy, we want to make sure that we're doing this consistently um, every single day so that way we can actually trigger Facebook into showing us more ads on our social media so that way we can actually see what other store owners are actively testing inside of their stores and this is a great way for you to find your first one thousand dollar product because we're actually seeing what other people are putting money behind to actually test in order to generate sales so the first thing that we want to do is we want to come to a website called myip.ms and once we are here this this website will give you information about different ips and everything else so the ip that we want to insert here is two three two two seven dot three eight dot three two and we just want to click on the red button now once we have done that we can see this is the IP for Shopify.com so what we want to do next is we want to click on this button right here where it says other sites on IP now don't worry I'm gonna put all this information in the description below the video so we're gonna click on this button here and if we scroll down just a bit we can actually see some of the top websites on the Shopify platform. So we can see they have ColourPop, Fashion Nova, Gymshark, and everything else. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on View All Records. And now we're gonna start seeing the entire list of like different stores that are on Shopify.com. And what we wanna do here is we wanna start interacting with these stores. Now a lot of these stores have Facebook pixels attached to them. So if that's the case, then Facebook is going to pick up on that, and then the more stores we look at, Facebook is gonna give us more of what we want. So if we wanna see more Shopify store ads or something like that on our, on our news feeds on Shopify, or um, I mean on Facebook or Instagram, what we need to do is we need to interact with these stores as much as possible. So start going through any of these stores here. Sometimes I like to go to like page 100 and kind of start from there. And then what you wanna do is, if you hover over the actual URL for the store, you can um, click on this button right here, which is like a little pop-up, and it's gonna show you the actual store. So once the store pops up, you want to start interacting with the store. So you wanna start scrolling through and you wanna start viewing the content in the store. So as we're viewing the content, we're seeing like the different things that they're selling. You can see what other products they have inside of here. So now this is kind of giving you some inspiration of 
what you could possibly sell in your store. Also, uh, what type of niche you can go through with your store. And you can also see the theme that they're using, everything else. This will also draw you some inspiration with your store since you're just starting out. And again, the more you do this, the better, right? So let's choose this one right here. Again, we want to click on the stores. We want to view the content in the stores. So they have candles and, and things like that inside of this uh, store right here. So again, we just want to do this as much as possible. It's about, like I said, especially in the, if you're starting off from scratch, you want to do this as much as possible so that way you can see more ads in your news feeds. Now, the next way that you can actually do this strategy is to come over here to Google. Now, once you're over here to Google, you can do a search of, of a niche plus myshopify.com. So um, what I mean by niche is like basically a category or whatever else you want to do your store in. Some people will do a general store where they have a variety of different products and different niches in their store. Some people will have a niche-based store like babies or mothers. Both of those are evergreen niches. And what I mean by evergreen niches is means is that there are always going to be babies being born. And as long as there are babies being born, there's always going to be new mothers created, right? So we can put baby plus myshopify.com. And now we're going to start seeing different sites showing up on the Shopify platform that uh, are like for babies, right? So let's go ahead and let's choose one of these. Let's choose this one. And now we see this particular store here. So we can scroll through. We can see how they have their, their store set up. You can see like the type of images, the products they're selling. And again, we want to interact with the store. So let's click on shop. And as we're viewing the content on this, uh, on the store, what we want to do is we want to choose one of these items and you just want to add to cart. We're not buying anything. You just want to add it to cart. Now there is a method to this madness, so make sure you stay until the end of the video to get that bonus tip of why I'm telling you guys to add things to cart. Now when we add things to cart, we can kind of see what they're doing here. So they have people, they're giving the people the option to do Shop Pay, Google Pay, and um, PayPal. And then I'm pretty sure they also have maybe Shopify payments attached to this. So now we're seeing that they're giving their customers more than one way to actually purchase from them. The reason why you want to do this is because um, you want to make the checkout process as smooth as possible. If at any point it becomes difficult or something like that, a person will actually leave your store and will not complete the purchase, right? So you want to give people multiple ways to actually purchase something from your store. Make the checkout process as smooth as possible. So if you're enjoying the content so far, make sure you go underneath this video, hit that subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up and let's get back to the content. So now that we have been interacting with stores, now you should start seeing some ads show up on your newsfeed on Facebook as well as Instagram. Now you also want to make sure that you're checking your desktop and your, um, your mobile apps because sometimes when people create ads, they're only targeting you know just mobile um, app users. Sometimes if you're targeting desktop and mobile, okay? So you want to make sure that you're doing both so that way you can actually see more ads. Now, once you come over here to Facebook and you start seeing these ads on your newsfeed, you want to interact with these ads. And just like this ad showed up, it's like for a um, uh, like a massager or something like that. What you want to do is you want to hover over the, the page name and you want to like the page. That's one thing that you want to do. The next thing you want to do is you want to actually click on the ad to go to the store. So now the store has shown up. And again, we want to come to the store and we want to view content. And as we're viewing the content, we're kind of seeing how they have their store set up, everything else. So let's say we want to go ahead and add this to cart. So add it to cart. You don't have to buy, but you want to add it to cart. Stick around to understand why I'm going to do that, why I'm doing this. So now we're seeing that it costs $168. They're giving people a discount here for purchasing. And then they're also giving people multiple ways to actually make a payment. So now the more we do this, the more ads are going to start showing up. And the more we interact with ads, the different type of ads that we're going to see. And this is why I've been telling you guys to make sure that you're going to these websites, you're viewing the content, and you're adding things to cart. Now this is the reason why. This is the bonus tip to this. So when people are creating ads, Facebook ads for their products, what they typically do is they like to create what we call web, website conversion ads. Now with website conversion ads, you can target different, you know, different groups of people or whatever 
in order to put your product in front of. And this is what typically a lot of store owners will actually use this type of ad because this ad will actually track to let them know how many purchases were made from one ad, um, how many times somebody initiated checkout on the ad, how many times somebody viewed content or add, added an item to cart on their ad, right? So when we are creating ads back here, we can target specific groups. And sometimes people who are testing items for their stores, they only wanna test products in front of people who actually add things to cart. So if you just go to the websites and you're just viewing around, you will see some ads on your newsfeed, but you will see an entirely different set of ads if you add things to cart. Same thing if you were to actually make a purchase on one of these websites, um, you'll actually see an entirely different set of ads <laughs> shown to you because you actually made a purchase from a Shopify store, right? So you do have the option where you can go to one of these stores, you can actually purchase something and you can actually kind of see what their shipping process is, how they package items and everything else. You can definitely do that for your own research. And then again, like I said, you'll also hit, you'll also be targeted by some additional ads because um, some Shopify stores will only target people who purchase things from stores. Now you may want to watch this video um, a few times in order to understand everything I'm saying, but this is why you want to go to these stores, view content and add things to cart at minimum, right? So if this is the back of the Facebook um, ads manager. And if I click here, we can see here, I can target people who initiated checkout. I can create an ad targeting people who just, who made purchases. I can target people who have, let's scroll down a little bit, who view content. That means you just visit the store and you looked around. I can also target people who added things to cart. So this is why you want to do that. Because again, like I said, you will see, you will see it in a different type of, ads showing up for people who actually add things to cart and again for people who make purchases so this is why you want to take those additional steps and again the more you do this the more ads that you will see on your on your Facebook or your Instagram now when you are seeing these ads show up on your Facebook this is what you want to do also you want to take a screenshot of the ad and you want to send it to yourself on Facebook Messenger or Instagram DM whichever place you see it the reason why you want to do this is because now Anytime you need to test a new ad for your store, you can just open up your Messenger or your Instagram DM and you can just scroll through and you can see all the different ads that you have saved, yeah, that you have saved and sent to yourself to give you inspiration of different ads that you can test for your store. This is a surefire um, strategy right here. And again, even experienced store owners still use this strategy. Now, again, like I said, if you want me to show you um, some additional strategies on how you can find winning products, just leave a comment below and I can actually create that content for you. So in this video, I share with you guys a simple strategy that you can use in order for your news fees to be flooded with um, Shopify ads and things that other store owners are actively testing inside of their stores. And now you have a good idea of some type of products that you can actually test inside of your store when you decide to go live or even if you're live already. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave a comment below. Also, if you want me to do a video where I show some of these spy tools that you can possibly invest into in order to help you find winning products for your store, also leave a comment below, let me know that. And then also, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next video.